Welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how you can hide and show your widgets in Flutter application. For example, if you have a feature where it can be accessed by an admin only but not the user, instead of disabling the button, you can choose to hide the button from the user since the user not able to access that feature. Let me introduce you to visibility widgets in Flutter. When you wrap a widget with visibility widget, you can control the visibility of your original widget with the visible boolean parameter in visibility widget. Now I will show you what is the difference by setting the visible boolean to true and false. If you set it to true, the child widget will be visible. However, if you set it to false, it will hide the entire child widget. Sometimes you might not want to hide the icon, but you want to replace with a different icon. Visibility widgets provide a parameter where you can add a replacement widget. Replacement widget will be shown when the visible boolean value is set to false. Now I will create another elevator button and place it in the replacement widget with different text content. I will set the visible boolean to true by default. Now when I hot restart the application, it shows the elevator button with testing widget text. And when I change the visible boolean to false and hot restart, it shows the elevator button with replacement widget text. And this is how you show and hide widgets in your Flutter application. However, the interesting part about programming is that there is always more than one solution to a problem. Now I will show you an alternative way to hide and show widgets in Flutter. This alternative way uses ternary operator. Ternary operator is a more efficient and cleaner way to write if else statement. It compares and returns boolean value. Now let me remove the visibility widget and show you how to show and hide widgets using ternary operator. Firstly, we have to create a boolean variable and check this boolean value in the ternary operator. If the value before the question mark returns true, it will return the widget after the question mark, else it will return after the semicolon. Now again, we will set the boolean to true by default. When I hot restart the application, the elevator button with the text testing widget is shown because the is show boolean is true. Now when I set the is show boolean to false, it shows the widget after the colon. For both methods, you can easily control to hide or to show any widgets just by controlling the value of the boolean. Here comes to the end of the tutorial. If you like my video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next tutorial.